What is going on guys? Today we are going to be talking about Call of Duty 2018. Uh, it's going to be made by Treyarch and you know that's a cycle. Um, so the speculation is that it's going to be Black Ops 4. Um, which is part of the reason you're seeing Black Ops 3 being played. Um, I really enjoyed the game. I think it was really great. Um, so the leak is through GameStop. Um, someone that works there had access to their database on what they'll be receiving uh, merchandise wise and they got Black Ops 4 t-shirts and lanyards um, which is pretty cool um, it's a pretty solid leak it can't be take it with a grain of salt it can't be 100% true um, but I mean at least 60 to 75 percent I'd say um, because they're a well-known retailer um, it's on their database uh, the prices for the merchandise range from $6.99 to $19.99 um, so I mean we get stuff for Call of Duty usually around NBA playoff time so I mean we're March 6th we have a little bit to go a couple weeks we usually go um, May April within that range we get some actual um, announced dates on that so nothing's been confirmed but it'll be soon that we'll get a confirmation and more leaks um, there's people that have their insiders or whatnot that have pretty, pretty solid um, records for announcing stuff through leaks um, so we'll have to see if those come up within a little bit too so Another thing is they're planning to release a possible Twitch version. Not Twitch, excuse me, Switch version. Um, you know, Nintendo Switch has really taken off what sense it's released, so I'm going to try and squeeze that out. Um, so 2018, I it, doubt it'll have advanced movement. I really liked uh, Black Ops 3's advanced movement. Not so much the other games that had it. Um, I felt like Black Ops was, I mean, well-paced. You may have the three-lane system and maps, but you can go high. You could be sliding and running, could being faster. Um, so it's going to be probably boots on the ground uh, because when World War II came out, they announced that the next couple of years will be boots on the ground just due to what the community wanted. Um, I haven't played a lot of World War II recently. I feel that the game just isn't solid, you know, paint shop's not out last time I was on. Um, it's just a lot of stuff's missing at launch that seem very simple. I don't know all the aspects of it, but I mean, paint shop was in other Call of Duty's previously. It shouldn't be months after release to uh, get that out. That's not what we're here for, though. I uh, got a little sidetracked. So, we'll see Call of Duty news within the next month, month and a half or so. Um, um, they still support Black Ops 3 a lot. They just uh, added a winter version of Redwood. Uh, they're going to be adding affected game mode. There's rumors of more guns, more camos, more uh, specialist uh, items. So, they still really support Black Ops 3, which is really cool actually, because I mean, it's three years old. Almost three years old. It came out in 2016 I believe um, not 100% sure so I'm going to have to check that so to till support this Call of Duty knowing that it's this popular is something we haven't really uh, seen I mean once a studio nice. releases their new game they just kind of forget about their old game um, so I really appreciate the track is still investing time in their old game to still make it better uh, they haven't really done much balancing but it's because they did all that while the game was new uh, they might balance the new guns when they come but that's about it so i mean we're looking at hopefully black ops 4 2018 boots on the ground hopefully there'll be a uh, switch version obviously you'll get playstation xbox and pc um i hope no offense to playstation people but i hope Honestly, everyone gets access to DLC at the same time, or it swings back to Xbox. Because I remember the day. Excuse me. Um, I think it was Ghost where we had early access, so we got everything. Or it was the recent, not too long ago, that Xbox had it all. Now PlayStation has it, so hopefully they switch back. Um, 
but you know it's all money based and their tournaments and such like that so for black ops 4 i mean i hope they have some advanced movement uh nothing too insane similar to black ops 3 but good chance it's on the ground um, find some stuff out in the next couple months you know i hope they uh bring some guns back there's a possibility they remaster a game um so Treyarch, i mean they have world at war which is great all the black ops which is also great so we have a plethora of games for them to remaster. I feel like they'll go with one at war um, or Black Ops 1 since they're doing a 4. Kind of do like if 4 is going to be the last one, they're going to remaster the first one. And then the next year that they release one, they're going to remaster Black Ops 2. And then, I mean, if it's, it'll be 9 years ish um, for when Black Ops 2 is released. Um, when they release one 9 years from now or whatever. Um, Black Ops 3 will be 11 years old-ish, so I mean they can rematch Black Ops 3 and maybe next-gen consoles, but that's way too far in the future. Uh, let's not worry about that. Another sidetrack. So, I haven't been playing a lot of Call of Duty. Um, it's kind of dying in my opinion. Uh, still have a strong base, and obviously they still do tournaments. It's all about Fortnite, uh, Rainbow, PUBG, Rock League for me. Um, I still play Black Ops 3 occasionally, but we'll... Or two is in my thing. So, uh, hopefully you guys liked the video today um, and the gameplay. Please, as always, tell me what you would like to see in the comments. Uh, tell me what you want to see in Black Ops, possibly back with Black Ops 4 for 2018. Um, as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And let the the gameplay here finish. Peace out. We played, me and Vince played World War II for like 20 minutes today, and then we're like, nah. Hostile UAV above. And then we came here and I smacked it. It's just insane. Stick to the plan and execute.